This is Matrix Lord 212, and I'm reviewing Captain Marvel number three, which the cover looks reminiscent of the old style covers way back in the past, doesn't it? If you look at it right there. All right, well, anyway, this is about Captain Marvel's trying to train the women um, and train the civilians so that way they could take on the Citadel and the Nuclear Man. Um, machismo, whatever the hell his nickname is, we find out that the only guy that's helping them, Sam, stands for son of machismo. So he's the son of the nuclear man, and he's trying to help the girls, the women, to overthrow his father. It turns out that Sam revealed to Captain Marvel that he made his father, like, I guess, get, bring her here, because he felt that Captain Marvel was the only one that could defeat him. Um... But he played his father into going after Captain Marvel. Um, and then we learned that uh, he said his father is up to something. So expect the worst because he's probably going to look into her past, look into her stuff and see something that could defeat her. And at the end, she gets jumped by Rogue. So Rogue is in there. And you know the history between um, Carol Danvers and Rogue. Rogue basically wiped her memory, stole her powers, left her a damn freaking vegetable, a mess. It took forever for her to get her life back, and then she had new powers, and she got different things, and for her to get integrated back, it took forever. So this is a big deal. This is going to be a huge fight, the next issue. What a great book. I'm really excited about the rematch between Captain Marvel and Rogue. Uh, it is something in Marvel lore that people talk about. It's a great, great... It was a great storyline, a great thing that happened. Uh, it was crazy and amazing at the same time. So I can't wait. All right, guys, that's my review. Take care. Bye for now.